Now at 6 o'clock, we're following the very latest developments in Doc Antle's money laundering case. He is set to appear virtually in a Virginia court tomorrow, though, on separate charges. Our digital team and also News 13's Manny Martinez have been on this story following potential leads. Manny live tonight in our newsroom with what we've learned so far. Manny. Bob, Megan, we've been digging for information since last week. The search has led us to Myrtle Beach Safari, owned by Doc Annalyn Sacristy. The home nearby we believe to be his, as well as the Myrtle Beach law firm. And here's a rundown of what we know. Doc Antle is still in jail tonight, facing charges of money laundering and still without a bond decision. Antle is due virtually in a Virginia court tomorrow because the alleged money laundering would be a violation of the bond conditions for wildlife trafficking charges. We now know both his alleged accomplices in the money laundering scheme, William Dallas and Andrew Sawyer, have been released on bond. Prosecutors say more than $700,000 from Myrtle Beach Safari's account have moved since Antle's arrest. He's in jail. How could he do anything? Plus, News 13's discovered two new companies created by Antle's reported wife just days after his arrest, both registered to the same address as the Safari. The FBI said it could not verify whether the new businesses are part of the laundering investigation. We stopped at the Sacristy home, Horry County Land Records, and a neighbor confirmed is Doc Antle's. We didn't get an answer. A company registered to Antle's daughter is listed as the owner of the land on which the safari sits. A visit to her house down the street turned up empty as well. Doesn't live here anymore? All right, thank you, appreciate it. Records show the address for Wildlife Preserve Land LLC is listed as this Myrtle Beach law firm, which the owner told us he's been there for four years and knows nothing about. Antle's charity, the Rare Species Fund, still has links online posted for contributions. That's despite the fact the South Carolina Secretary of State ordered the charity to stop soliciting donations for missing a filing deadline. The office told us the charity has until Tuesday to correct the issue or face a fine. And we also know from tax documents that donations to Antle's charity quadrupled in 2019 from the year before. That's the same year the alleged money laundering started and the year before Antle was featured on the Netflix documentary Tiger King. Bob and Megan count on us for updates to this story and for what comes out of Antle's virtual court hearing tomorrow. But you can read all about Doc Antle and the charges against him and his alleged accomplices online right now at WBTW.com. Back to you.